Hello, my name is Alicia Pagano and I am attending a PhD course at the University of Genoa, Italy. This ILSA project video will give you an overview on the post process of interlingual respeaking. We continue to build on what you have learned in the previous modules, that is, the modules on subtitling, on simultaneous interpreting, and on intralingual respeaking. After having explained what happens in the pre process and in the peri process and which skills are needed, we now move to the post process of interlingual respeaking. As shown before, also during the post process stage, socio psychological and cooperative skills are particularly relevant to work in a team. The post process of interlingual respeaking refers to what happens after the completion of the assignment. The post process is a chance to reflect upon performance with a view towards future improvement. Depending on the setting in which the interlingual respeakers find themselves, such as if they're working remotely, for example, the post process may not occur at all. When it does occur, though, the main skills it requires are critical analysis and reflection. For what concerns the skill of critical analysis, a respeaker would analyze their respoken text to identify translation and recognition errors and effective additions to assess the accuracy of the respoken subtitles. As a respeaker may be required to assess their own work, it is important for a respeaker to reduce any subjectivity in scoring. This requires a respeaker to critically assess their respoken text by focusing on the impact that their errors and effective additions may have had on an audience and how it affects the way an audience receives a text. For what concerns reflection on the performance, it allows a respeaker to carry out a remedial work to eliminate errors and weaknesses in future respeaking tasks. For example, if an interlingual respeaker has been working alone, they may want to reflect on their performance by going through their respoken text to find terms that were misrecognized and train the speech recognition software to prevent future errors. If the respeaker has been, has been working in a team, a team debriefing may take place to discuss how the process worked. This debriefing could also include an analysis of the errors encountered and a discussion of how to avoid them. As briefly introduced, critical analysis and reflection skills are needed in order to carry out the following tasks of the post process. Team debriefing, if any. Quality assessment. Remedial work. The team debriefing is an occasion for all the team members to identify positive and negative experiences of the respeaking task, thus recognizing both strengths and weaknesses to understand what to continue to do and what to improve for next time. Team debriefing can be simply carried out discussing with the other respeakers or editors about how it went. I missed that part because I was confused, because I did not hear. What do you think? Are you satisfied? How do you feel about it? And so on. When there is a chance or of a more in-depth conversation, it is good to discuss any problem encountered with the software and the lexicon, agree on the writing style of specific words, organizations, names, places, etc., and agree on custom commands to set in order to improve accuracy. 
A quality assessment sometimes takes place to evaluate the overall quality of the respoken output. If needed, this is followed by remedial work aimed at solving issues and problems detected during the performance and how to avoid them in the future. Quality in interlingual respeaking is already being addressed by working quality assessment models, such as the NTR model. Uh, quality assessment is an, es an essential part of the post process as it allows for translation and recognition errors to be identified and categorized as per their severity. For example, the impact they would have had on the audience. At the end of this unit, there is a video which discusses the NTR model in detail and shows you how it can be applied to interlingual respoken texts. In terms of remedial work, any new terminology unit that was not added to the database during the pre-process preparation stage can now be included in the system in order to update it. Custom commands can also be created to automate any useful processes, new speaker tags and sound labels that the re-speaker may have needed to use. Thank you very much for your attention.